Alibaba is the best online platform to find suppliers for all kinds of products. But there's still a lot of people haven't used it or don't know how to use it correctly or safely. That's why I decided to make this most informative and comprehensive guide to eliminate all your concerns and show you the correct whole process step by step from searching suppliers until receive products. I'm Jing, the founder of Jing Sourcing, a leading China sourcing company since 2015. We help thousands of people source quality products from China. And I will share you all my knowledge about sourcing, manufacturing, and importing in my videos. So subscribe now, then you won't miss the next coming video. How to buy products on Alibaba? This is a very big and complicated question. So I decided to organize this video into two sections. In section one, you can learn basic knowledge about Alibaba platform and how it works. If you already have ideas about these knowledges, then you can move the progress bar to eight and a half minutes to start watching the section two. And I will teach you how to buy on Alibaba from send inquiry to receive products. Alibaba Group in China is kind of like Google in America. They have so many products like Taobao, AliExpress, Hemo, Alipay, and Alibaba.com is just one of their products. And also it's their first products, which was built around 20 years ago. This website is mainly for non-Chinese people to find suppliers in China. But now you can also find suppliers from all over the world. Alibaba.com is a dominating B2B trading platform for similar websites like Global Resources or Made in China. They're kind of like search engine being or Yahoo when compared with Google. Over 90% of people use Google to search and over 90% of people use Alibaba to find suppliers online. But is Alibaba really right for you or your business? Don't buy any brand products like iPhone, Nike shoes, because all these products, they have their own distribution network in every country. Even though they are made in China, but in Alibaba, you won't get a good price for buying them in quantity. And also you will have very high risk of being scanned. If your purchasing quantity is less than 500 US dollars for one product, don't use it. Even though Alibaba is good for small business, but it's not good for too small business. If you want to find world-class manufacturers that has supplied big brands, like find a lingerie manufacturer for Victoria's Secret or find shoes manufacturer for Nike or Adidas, I would not say don't use Alibaba, but you almost cannot find them here. Because their target clients are usually big company and big buyers. But the main buyers of Alibaba are usually small to medium-sized business. So alternatively, visiting trade shows like Canton Fair will be much easier to find this type of factories. So how does purchasing Alibaba work? Essentially, Alibaba is like online trade show. You can find supplies for all kinds of products and learn products via photos or descriptions and evaluate supplies background by company information. But you cannot really complete the whole purchasing process online as simple as AliExpress or Amazon. Why? Because Alibaba is used for international trading and you are supposed to deal with factories, trading companies, and purchase a product in large quantity or customize a product and make your own packaging or own brand. So every customer, they have different kind of requirement on the products and the supplier usually they don't have inventory and they will start producing after you place order. Because this is international trading and the products or packages usually are customized. So if you are not satisfied with the product you received, it's almost not possible to return the products back to China and get full refund. I didn't see any people really made it to get their product returned and almost no one will tell you this truth. When you are doing the product research in Alibaba, the prices you see are not real because most of the transactions are not complete online and the suppliers will try to mark their price as low as possible to attract your inquiry. And this is a very common tricks they play to stand out from their thousands of competitors. You need to spend a lot of time to find out some suppliers whose business background looks might be good, send the inquiries and they will reply you with the real price. And then you can start the further communication with the supplier 
by email. I recommend you to download the WeChat app to communicate with suppliers because you can always get a very fast response. And this is the app that we Chinese people to use for communicating from wake up in the morning until fall asleep at night. For all things I have mentioned above, it looks like sourcing products and buying products on Alibaba is kind of like full of risks. But don't worry, Alibaba has provided the following solutions to help you evaluate your suppliers and secure your purchasing orders. So keep watching. Alibaba has two types of supplier membership, the gold and the verified. You might heard about the gold supplier because there are a lot of tutorial on internet that teaches how to buy from Alibaba and they will say buy from gold supplier because they are reliable. It's wrong. They probably don't know the truth that every single Chinese supplier is gold supplier. In China, you have to pay around 4,500 US dollars per year. You can become the supplier on Alibaba, which is the gold supplier. Verified supplier is kind of like higher level than the gold because supplier, they usually need to pass a third party audit and also need to pay at least 10,000 US dollars per year to Alibaba. Then Alibaba will give a verified supplier badge and also more exposure opportunity to buyers. By my experiences, the gold or the verified membership doesn't really matter. But the longer years that being a supplier on Alibaba is more important than whether it's gold or verified supplier. Few years ago, Alibaba launched the trade assurance service. Thus, buyers don't need to worry about being scammed or receive defect products. It works like this. When you place order, you can write the product specification and the deliver requirement in the trade assurance order and you pay money to Alibaba and they will help you hold the money until you receive products. If you want to learn more about trade assurance and how to use it, you can click the link below or link in the description. Another question is, who are these suppliers on Alibaba? There are three kinds of suppliers on Alibaba, manufacturers, trading companies, and wholesalers. Trading company and wholesalers are usually buying product from manufacturers and resell to you. But the difference between trading company and wholesalers are trading companies usually specialize in certain product categories, while wholesalers usually they sell any kind of products as long as it can bring them profit and usually their MOQ is lower and the price will be more expensive. Most of those Alibaba sourcing tutorials will tell you that you must buy from manufacturers and the trading companies is always a middleman to increase the price and rip you off. It's totally wrong. For the same product, it's very normal that different manufacturers has price difference like 10%, 20% or even more. And Sometimes the trading company's price will even better than a lot of manufacturers. So my advice will be it's always better to focus on how to balance between the price, quality and the service instead of verifying if it's a real manufacturer and you only buy from them. It's great that you keep watching till now and you probably have very good understanding about how Alibaba sourcing works. So let's dive into the section two and let me show you how to buy on Alibaba step by step. Actually, buying from Alibaba is kind of like international trading. So I will also teach you some basic but very helpful trading knowledges. Step one, search suppliers. There are two ways to search suppliers in Alibaba, direct search and use RFQ. The direct search is just typing in the keywords in the search bar, then you will find all products that has similar keywords from thousands of suppliers. This method is quite suitable for this kind of situation that when you don't have a specific type of product or specific appearance of the product that you want and you can take time to look around until you find attractive products. Then you can click the contact supply button to leave the message for requiring a precise quote. Well, if you want to source a specific product, then I strongly recommend you to use Alibaba's IFQ function, which is short for request for quotation. Just type in the URL ifq.alibaba.com and click try IFQ now button and you will see this IFQ form. Just fill it out as detailed as you can according to these instructions. It's very simple and you can also attach product links or images to describe your requirements better. The very important thing you need to know is that Describe your sourcing requirement as detailed as possible because 
Every Alibaba supplier can only reply less than 30 RFQs per month. It's limited. If your RFQ is too simple, then they probably will think that you are not a serious buyer and then they don't want to waste this opportunity to reply your RFQ. After submitting the RFQ form, usually in less than one hour during the work time in China, you can receive the reply from around 10 suppliers with their quotation. And then you can choose the best one among these suppliers. If you want to learn more about how to use RFQ effectively to let as many quality suppliers to reach out to you in less than 15 minutes, click the link below or in the description and you can also get a very practical RFQ template. Step 2. Identify suppliers. After you're filling out the RFQ form, you should receive a lot of supplies reply very quick. And then you need to learn how to identify and evaluate all of them. But if you use the direct research, you need to identify the supplier first, then the inquiries. Choosing long-term suppliers is more important than choosing the lowest cost suppliers because you want your business growing. That's why you need the reliable suppliers to support you with quality products and a service. Let me give you six tips for how to choose a good supplier. Tip one, check Alibaba membership. In section one, I have explained the basic knowledge about how suppliers membership works. And I recommend you to choose suppliers who has at least three years membership, no matter it's gold suppliers or verified. Because in China, there are a lot of small manufacturers or small trading companies. They will try selling on Alibaba for one or two years they paying few thousand US dollars per year and they didn't find they make much money. So they will decide to close their Alibaba account. And in this case, you will be out of Alibaba's protection. Tip two, check company background. It's very easy to judge the supplier is manufacturer or trading company through their names because Chinese companies names usually consist of these four elements, location, name, business scope, and the company type. In China, for the same type of products, usually factories or trading companies, they will gather in the same city or the same province. And we call this area as industrial clusters. And I recommend you try to find suppliers according to the industrial clusters because supplies from those areas, they will be like more professional and their price will be more competitive. The simplest way to find where is the industrial cluster for your products is just search the product in the search bar and then try to find which province has the biggest numbers of suppliers and it's there. For the business scope elements, trading companies usually use words like trading, import-export, commodity and factories usually will use industrial products or certain product names like stainless, plastic. You can also go to the supplier profile page to see their business type is trading company or factories. But sometimes it could be wrong because there are a lot of tricks to play to get trading companies registered as a manufacturer. Tip three, check supplier's product category. A good supplier, they should be very professional on products. So you need to check their product categories. For example, wine tumbler is made of stainless steel and it's normal that the supplier is also selling other kind of product that made of stainless steel. But if in his product category, there are a lot of any other products that has no relationship with stainless steel or drinkwares, then he might not be a very good option for a good supplier. There are many supplies on Alibaba, especially for trading companies and wholesalers. They upload thousands and thousands of products in order to get more inquiries from new clients instead of focusing on certain area. Tip four, choose suppliers who accept trade assurance orders. It's very easy to understand because this kind of suppliers is very confident about their qualities and they know if there's any product defects, the client will open a dispute with Alibaba and they can get a compensation. Tip five, check compliance certifications. For electronics, toys, most of countries, they need compliance certifications for import custom clearance. So you must to choose suppliers who has a certification to your countries. For example, electronic products, 
it need FCC for custom clearance in the United States and CE certification for European countries. So only when the supplier has related certifications, it can prove that their product comply with the regulation in your country. And you can also identify the supplier's proficiency by certifications. Tip 6. Price and minimum order quantity. Now you probably understand why price is not the most important thing to choose the right suppliers. Except for choosing competitive price suppliers, you also need to think about their minimum order quantity. And usually, it's not that hard to negotiate the MOQ like 20 or 50 lower. And you can tell the supplier that you are willing to pay a little bit higher price for buying less quantities. If you want to learn more skills about how to find reliable suppliers in Alibaba, click link below or link in the description and I will teach you in another video. Step 3. Confirm price. At this step, you need to confirm a lot of things with suppliers like product price, the purchasing quantity, cost for packaging if it has, and also the shipping cost for different shipping solutions if you don't have your own free for order. Here is a very important thing is that what trade turn should your supply quote you? FOB, EX Works, CIF, or what else? I'm not going to explain the inco terms in this video, so just remember my conclusion. If you have your own free for order that have someone who can help you ship product from China, then just let your supplier quote you the FOB price. And your supplier will be responsible for all the costs that deliver to the vessel at the seaport or aircraft at the airport. And they will also pay all costs for exporting. If you don't have a freight forwarder, then just let your supplier quote you the product price in the EX work terms. And then let them quote you the shipping costs separately, which covers from the supplier's warehouse all the way to your destination. You always need to confirm the shipping costs and the shipping solutions with the suppliers before you place order. Step 4. Get sample. Before you choose a final supplier to place order, you must to get a product sample to confirm the quality. And you cannot just judge the quality by the supplier's photo or images. You have to get it and to touch and feel it. And then you need to reconfirm with the supplier that the quality of the bulk order should be the same as the sample. Otherwise, you will have the risk to receive the quality in the bulk order is not as good as the sample. I recommend you to get samples from two or three suppliers. And if any one of them didn't offer good quality, you can still have other suppliers as a backup solution. Getting sample usually costs around $30 because the main cost is the express shipping by FedEx or DHL and you will usually receive like 3 days. But it's really very worthy to invest this small money and small time. Step 5. Place order. After you confirm with the supplier for the product price, sample quality, purchasing quantity, and the lead time, you can place order now. Supplier will create and send you invoice, and you need to pay 30% deposit, and they start production. And then you need to pay 70% balance before the product shipping out of China. I have mentioned in section 1 that the Alibaba's trade assurance service is very recommended because it can ensure the product quality is the same as what you expected. It's very simple. You can create the trade assurance order by yourself or ask your supplier to create it for you. And then just follow Alibaba's instruction and send the money to Alibaba's account. They will help you hold the money until you receive your products. If your supplier don't accept trade assurance, but you cannot find other suppliers who can offer better price, quality, or better qualification in other aspects, but you believe your supplier is very trustworthy, then you need to use wire transfer to send the money directly to their bank account. For wiring money to China, except for going to bank, you can also choose some transfer website like Ving or TransferWise because they are easier, faster, and cheaper than bank. Step 6. Inspect quality. After the massive production is finished, you need to inspect the quality and then pay the balance to the supplier to get the product shipped to you. Don't think your product should be fine as long as you use a trade assurance. And you need to be very careful all the time because you don't want to receive defect products and 
open a dispute to get a compensation is always not a very good result because you are wasting time and money. The simplest way is to let your supplier send you high resolution product photos or videos and you can see if the color or size is the same according to your requirement. I strongly recommend you to ask supplier to send you a sample from the bulk order to check quality. Even though it will spend around $30 for the international express fee, but it's very worthy. You can also hire a third party inspection companies like SGS, Kima, or VTrust, and they will let their people travel to the supplier's warehouse to inspect quality. And usually they need like around $300 US dollars for one person one day for the inspection. And then you will receive a very detailed inspection report, and it will include if all the quantity, product size, measurement, colors, or functions all match your requirements. If you think 300 US dollars is too expensive, you can also use the quality inspection service in Alibaba, and it only needs around $100. But I prefer Kite's mini inspection because it's cheap, and they cannot spend that much time for inspection because for world-famous inspection companies like Bureau Veritas, their charge is very expensive for a whole day inspection. Step 7. Ship products. Finally, you are at the last step of the whole process. Then you need your supplier to assist you to ship a product from China all the way to your home, to your country. If you are an Amazon seller, then you need to ship product from China all the way to Amazon fulfillment centers. If you don't have own free forwarders, I recommend you to ask a supplier to help you find one and they will help arrange the shipping and the import and export process. And you just pay all the costs to the supplier. There are three kinds of shipping methods, courier service, sea free and air freight. For courier service, it's most expensive and they are provided by companies like FedEx, DHL and TNT. And for most countries, you will receive product in three to five days. You will get a tracking code after the supplier is shipping the product and you can go to this courier company's website to check the location of your products. While for sea freight or air freight, there's no way to check the shipment status. So you can only ask your supplier or ask your own freight forwarder to know that when the product will be arrived at the port and when it will be delivered. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it can help you a lot. If you have any question or something not clear or something that you want to learn more, leave your comment below and I will reply or create a new video to help you understand better. Make sure you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to import any product from China, you can also tell us on jinsourcing.com. We will help you find the best suppliers.